Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and today I'm bringing you a video where I'm going to talk about the upcoming Season 11 changes to the Sandbox. The TWAB came out today, and they and it presented a ton of new things that's going on inside Destiny 2 for Season 11. It's actually pretty exciting. Uh, they're doing a bunch of changes to reload perks in the game. They're doing a ton of different changes to a variety of different archetypes that aren't very well used inside Crucible and inside PvE, so there's a variety of changes coming up. The stuff that I'm most especially excited for is that they're actually bringing in new weapons and new perks in this section right here. Uh, they talk about Season of Redacted. There's going to be Iron Banner weapons that have two new perks, and the names of those perks are actually given to us, Iron Grip and Iron Gaze. So if you think you know what those are going to do, go ahead and type those in the comment section below because I'm very interested. I would love to see your predictions and see if you're right because that's going to be really cool. There's going to be Iron Banner exclusive perks that are unique to the Iron Banner weapons, so that gives a lot more incentive to actually go into Iron Banner. I know I myself personally, as an avid Crucible player, I don't really care much for Iron Banner. I don't really go in there very much because... The loot that you get from it is so lackluster i'm like why should i spend my time in there if there were good weapons to go after in there i would be in there i would definitely spend some time in iron banner i would suffer through the pain of the intense skill-based matchmaking of the insanity of all the tryhards in there and i would try and get those weapons as best i could but there's just no reason for me to do it but now with these new unique perks and unique weapons coming in season 11 this is actually really exciting i am going to be playing a ton of iron banner in season 11 i want to get these weapons i want to get these perks i want to see what new weapons there are out there and what new perks are added to the loot pool for me personally as a player of destiny uh, for crucible and for pve but especially for crucible i love when new perks are infused into the game because that creates a whole new meta uh, suddenly certain hand cannons are better with certain weapons or certain perks rather and everything that was the meta and standard before is changed because these new perks will usually be strong and add to the synergy of certain other perks so what's always fun to do is to synergize certain perks together and it'll be really cool to see what new metas emerge from these new perks that are being infused into the loot pools and what new weapons will shine inside the crucible coming in season 11 i'm actually really really excited for this they talk about a variety of different changes we've got slug shotguns here we've got sniper rifles they actually talk about the zoom on sniper rifles which has been an issue for a long time is that People really, really like low zoom for snipers. Uh, this is a known thing. Obviously, if you ever played Destiny 1, you know about low zoom snipers, and you know about the NLB. And this might actually even be kind of a hint, or maybe an encrypted hint, at the NLB making a return, which would be, fingers crossed, really cool. In my opinion, I think that's a cool weapon to bring back. But we'll see. This might just be very well in regards to a legendary sniper, maybe a pinnacle sniper, maybe a trial sniper. Who knows what it's going to be. But it, would, it is really cool to see that there might actually be a low zoom sniper. And it would be cool if people were to get away from that revoker meta which is so rewarding for missing shots and get into more you know actually trying to aim for headshots and focusing on landing headshots and uh and not having essentially infinite ammo with their snipers so it's going to be really cool to see the sniper meta change inside the crucible with low zoom snipers and people moving away from the revoker especially as sun setting comes in revoker is an older weapon it will definitely be uh, lost in time so that's exciting and they're also going to be doing some changes to uh, hand cannons and giving some love to the classes that aren't as common so it'll be interesting to see what they do there maybe some 110 love there um, and they're changing a little bit up a little bit with auto rifles so auto rifles are obviously really strong really predominant in the crucible right now they might be changing that a little bit so that way we see some maybe some 720s will shine a little bit who knows what we'll see in the future but uh, the sandbox changes are really exciting and really interesting and i can't wait uh, the biggest buff the biggest change that they're doing i think in all of this that they were at least uh, transparent about was the change to pulse rifles, uh, the high impact pulse rifles, instead of doing uh, six headshots and that being their optimal time to kill, which is really hard to land all six bullets or but all two bursts on a very slow firing pulse rifle to someone's head. Uh, it re is a really fast time to kill, but they're actually lowering that so that way it doesn't have to be all six headshots. One of them can be a body shot. So that's really exciting to see. So make sure you dust off that Redrix broadsword and get to practicing a little bit with that before season 11, because that might very well be the long range meta, who knows? Time will tell. Obviously, it's very, very hard to predict what the meta will be in a new season. We can see and we can gauge and we can, you know, take what we know from this season and previous seasons and sort of use that in the future. But it's honestly very, very hard to know what's going to be powerful and what's not going to be powerful. And sometimes things go out with bugs and we never really know, like maybe certain perks are way more powerful than we realized. And so it's really, really exciting time. And I cannot wait to see what season 11 sandbox is like with these upcoming changes. Let me know what you think of these changes, though. Are you excited for season 11, season of Redacted? Or are you not excited? Has Season of the Worthy really bummed you out and drawn you away from the game? Or are you just hibernating and waiting for the next season because it's right around the corner. There's only three weeks of trials left, so three weeks of suffering with trials of uh, tons and tons of cheaters and hackers. And then we should have a much, much better version of trials and a better sandbox from the looks of it. So 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.